In this video, I'll show you how to write a quadratic expression of a shaded area. The question asks, write the expression of the shaded area in simplest form. So what we have is a rectangle, and a chunk of this rectangle has been removed with the dimensions 2x and x plus 1. So what we have to do is find the area of this rectangle and subtract it from the area of the white rectangle in the middle. Remember that the area of a rectangle is length times the width. So the first thing that I'll do is find the area of this bigger one, and then I'll find the area of the smaller one, and then subtract them. So this is our length, this is our width, and it doesn't really matter which one you assign as your length or your width. So we have 3x minus 7 times 2x minus 1. Now what we have to do here is expand these two binomials. This is a binomial and this is a binomial. And to expand it, we start off with this first term. We multiply it to the 2x and we end up with 6x squared. 3x times negative 1 gives us negative 3x. Negative 7 times 2x is equal to negative 14x. And negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7. Adding up the middle terms, given that they're like terms, gives us 6x squared minus 17x plus 7. So that expression right there represents the area of the whole rectangle. Next, I'll find the area of the white rectangle. So area is equal to length times the width. I'm going to assign 2x as my length and my width as x plus 1. Multiplying this in, so we have this monomial times this binomial, 2x squared plus 2x. And that right there represents the expression for the area of this white rectangle. What we will do now is subtract this from this. So 6x squared minus 17x plus 7 minus, and now notice I've introduced brackets, 2x squared plus 2x. It is very important that you introduce these brackets because both of these terms will be influenced by this minus. So I'm going to multiply this negative into the binomial to its right, and we end up with 6x squared minus 17x plus 7 minus 2x squared minus 2x. I'm going to highlight the like terms. This term and this term are alike. This term and this term are alike. Let's combine them. We have 4x squared. 6 minus 2 minus 19x plus 7. So whatever your x value is, if you plug it into here, you will find out the area of the shaded portion. And so there you have it. That is how to write a quadratic expression of a shaded area. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.